your statewide forecast with meteorologist Pat Walker. Welcome back to Arkansas All Today. Well, a little disturbance making its way into northwest Arkansas produced some of these thunderstorms we had this morning in west Arkansas, and they raced or pushed all the way across south Arkansas this morning, and now they're exiting out of far southeast Arkansas. But the disturbance is still there. It's Re fired up again. Some new thunderstorms just west of Fort Smith and even some well out ahead of that uh, into the Ozarks. So in Fort Smith now, no rainfall yet, but some just across the state line, getting a couple of these showers popping up in southeastern Washington County, southwestern Madison, uh, well south of Fayetteville. Others here in Newton County over into northern Pope, Parts of uh, Searcy County, Van Buren County, seeing some of these pop-up showers already. Nothing much here in Little Rock, and of course those morning storms from West Arkansas pushed all the way down into Southeast Arkansas. Now we're looking at them exiting even out of Chico County into Louisiana and into Mississippi. Here's the path of that rainfall from these morning showers and storms right through South Arkansas. Uh, it actually did produce some measurable rainfall in Monticello. Some spots by picked up a quarter to a half inch of rain. Most locations didn't. Fort Smith did see a little rainfall earlier today at 700s. But look at this. Fort Smith feels like 100 now with a temperature of 88. The same in Mena and De Queen. 102. The Heat index value of hot springs, and it's not even 90 degrees, 89 there. 88 in Little Rock feels like 98, but Cersei's at 91, feels like 104, and a heat index value already up to 106 in West Memphis. The heat is high today, especially probably in the eastern half of the state, but you know what? Over the next two days, it's going to be even higher than that. So it's hot and it's humid. That heat's going to be building. This little disturbance is going to lift into Missouri. That'll leave us behind. The one we had last week and over the weekend, that's moving out of Alabama. For the next couple of days, it'll move into the northern Gulf. This little disturbance from Florida, they're going to meet up. And then they meet up, they actually could form a tropical low, maybe even a tropical storm as the week rolls on. That will have an impact on Arkansas, perhaps in a good way. I'll explain that coming up here in just a second. But for this afternoon, we're going to have those scattered thunderstorms as we sit here with the heat and humidity. But as the sun sets, we lose that heat. And, of course, the showers and thunderstorms die down. Now, of course, it'll get hot and humid again tomorrow afternoon, but the disturbance will be farther away and will have less of an impact on it. So the rain chance overall tomorrow will be less of a rain chance. And, of course, things die down in the evening hours. Into Wednesday, rain chances do pick up as a cold front starts nearing the state. Yes, we'll still be hot and humid on Wednesday. But at the same time, at that point, we could be seeing those two area disturbances into a tropical system or a tropical low. And what that's going to do as it moves its way along the Gulf Coast, it's actually going to pull air in off the continent. That'll allow a cold front that gets to Arkansas, not just to get to the Ozarks and sit and stall out, but actually it looks like Wednesday night to Thursday morning, it will push through and bring some cooler and drier air into the state. Drier is more importantly because we have two points in the mid to upper 70s right now, and they're going to stay in those mid to upper 70s all the way through Wednesday. But look at this. By Thursday, here we go. Some 60s start sneaking in Thursday, and by Friday morning, the entire state could have two points out of the 70s into the 60s. Still humid, but a lot less humid than what it is right now. That is your statewide forecast. Now, here's your local one.